going on, y'all? It is Michael out of Cincinnati, Ohio, inspiring you to live the life that you love spiritually, mentally, physically, and financially. I got my girls here with me on today. Normally, we do this on Candy B's page, but we're having some technical difficulties on today. So y'all go ahead, <laughs> girls, my women. <laughs> Okay, so I am Crystal Flowers, and I am out of Raleigh, North Carolina. I am super excited to be joining these beautiful ladies today. They are absolutely amazing. And so my goal is to help as many people as possible regain their smile back. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, everyone. It's Candy B coming to you live out of Conyers, Georgia. And we're excited to be here with you today. Um, I help busy moms transform their bodies and their bank accounts. And we have our special guest. Crystal, so yes, 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 yes. So I'm going to turn it over to you, Camille. All right. So listen, y'all, we are all about bossing up in our business. And it's really funny. I don't even know how all of us really came together. Um, but we have been one another's accountability partners and, um, and we're really just making great strides in business. Like in a time where a lot of people um have had uncertainty our businesses have been going up and so we've been really really blessed and we just want to be able to be a blessing to other people and i think a lot of times um when people think about starting a business or working from home some of the things that happen is that doubt comes in you know fear mm -hmm. creeps in and they're wondering can i do this or my background isn't in that or mm -hmm. you know all of these things pop up that might stop you from being able to experience time freedom or being able to pay for your your mother's mortgage your mortgage in cash right or being able to pay off your your child's college tuition in cash and we we hold ourselves back and, and live in these mediocre spaces so candy and i invited our special <laughs> guest on here tonight because her background is incredible um, she came from the corporate world and I'm not going to go completely into her story because she's definitely going to be sharing on today, but she got to a point in her life where she said enough is enough and I'm no longer willing to suffer. I'm no longer willing to succumb to a lower level of what I know I'm capable of doing and what I'm capable of achieving. So, uh, Miss Crystal Flowers, <laughs> honey, <laughs> Just share a little bit about yourself. You know, where are you from? Who are your people? Tell us a little bit about you. <laughs> so I, uh, again, my name is Crystal Flowers and I am originally from Brooklyn, New York. Um, the youngest out of nine kids and just always had an entre entrepreneurial spirit. You know, at, at certain times in my Ooh. life, I was actually working for myself as a cosmetologist. And I just went on and um, just continued on with corporate America. But about six years ago, guys, I got into a space of um, one of the worst experience that I probably ever had within my career. And I was with an amazing company. The company was absolutely amazing. And I would never take anything back from them. But um, the person that I actually was working for was difficult to say the least. Um, you know, she was really, really difficult. And so I would go into work not knowing what I would experience from day to day. And guys, I'm going to tell you, um, it was it was really odd. You know, I had said on an earlier interview this week, I was saying, you know, I didn't want to, you know, mental illness is serious. So I hate to say that yeah. that word schizophrenic. But this woman was actually she was <laughs> she was you never knew which direction she was going mentally. Right. And so. Um, I would literally sit in the parking lot and pray and ask God when I walk into this building, um, you know, to experience, to just have a good day, you know, because I never knew what I was facing. Yeah. And so I started looking for a job because I knew me being who I was, I wouldn't be able to continue working, working like this or working through this. And so I was praying and asking for a job. My resume speaks for itself. I had been a um um, in the corporate world for over 23 years as an executive assistant, working with high level CEOs. So I knew my my re, my um, resume spoke for itself, but for right. some reason I could not find a job. <laughs> I went on doing this for about eight months and nothing was coming about. So um, in that eighth month, um, 
I ran into someone that I had tried to do a MLM before. I had only done one before. And she was posting this green pack of tea all over Facebook. And I knew what it was, but I was like, you know what? I'm not doing that again. I had done this one time before. Hadn't had no, really didn't have really success. I got my money back and that was about it, but I didn't make any money. And so I was like, I'm never doing that again, right? <laughs> and so she um, said, reached out to me and said, hey, sis, have you tried this tea? And I was like, you know what? I can stand to lose a couple of pounds, but I don't want, I'm not interested in the business. And I told her that flat out, right? Um, so she said, okay, well, let's just meet. And she met me and um, she gave me the tea. And I asked her a question that she couldn't answer, which was really good for me because mm -hmm. that showed her integrity. She wasn't trying to finagle me and just give me anything just to get me going. Anyway, right. so she gave me the pack of tea. I went home and I tried it. And within four days, I lost, I mean, within five days, I lost four pounds. And the slogan here is lose five pounds in five days. But me losing that four pounds in five days was absolutely amazing because I've been detoxing all my life and I shouldn't have had nothing to lose. And I lost four pounds. So I was like, you know what? This is right. work. And I understood, I understood the monetary that. value that came with that. Um, you know, financially, I said, OK, this there's something to this. And so we I immediately I joined on that fifth day. And I oh, so, so Crystal, not to cut, not to cut you off. Not to cut you off, but um, you said when you got the pack of tea, you felt amazing. Go more into like how did it really make you feel, and how was your mindset for you just to say, "Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and monetize from this." Share okay. a little well, bit about that part. Okay, okay. so for one so, thing, um, I had switched I had my profession from asking for a job to an opportunity, and so that right now, you said opportunity. My, when you say opportunity, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I said when you say opportunity, um, be break it down to fifth grade language. Let them know what that meant to you. Opportunity when when you so opportunity means what to you? Did someone reach out to you? How did it actually like? I know you said someone called you, but let them know when about an opportunity. What it really is. What it what it really means to you as well. Because I want them to understand. Um, what how you was feeling and and like you know go a little bit deeper okay that makes so, <laughs> so when you're asking for a job you're asking to go work for someone an opportunity is meaning i'm open to um whatever you have whatever is um available something that's um even even having been an entrepreneur something that that even puts me in a place of working for myself. So it was just wanting to be able to um, do whatever, not even not say do whatever, because that's um, that's not. Yeah, it was more so uh, you wasn't looking for a brick and mortar because you right. want you right. Okay, you know what a brick and mortar I you got to have to entrepreneurship. Okay. Yeah. And I, you know, I really like what you said, Crystal, um, that you went from permission to opportunity, right? Yeah. Permission is kind of like you're locked in, you're under constraint. You right. have to, like, you know, I was sharing with uh, Candy on yesterday. One of the things for me was I had to ask for permission from my boss mm -hmm. to be able to go help my sister who was dealing with a serious health issue, right? Right. And I had to ask permission for my from my boss to be able to take care of the things that I said was a priority in my life. I had to ask my my boss permission, you know, if, if it's right. okay if I take a longer lunch. I had to ask permission to be able to go to a missions trip, and I was at the mercy of their response. Right. Yeah. And that's a horrible feeling. Yeah, it is. What? It is. It is. That's a horrible yeah, yeah, and, and, yeah. and especially like you think about, you know, people who are, are moms and different things, um, you know, and, and you got to ask for permission to right. take care of your kids and, and allow the things the time that you freedom. say are mm -hmm. priority to yeah. be a priority. And that don't make no sense. So to right. then open it up to an opportunity, right. like that, that word, just oh, like you right. have the control yeah. of your time. Right. You have the controls of your time and your um, financial freedom, you know, yeah, yeah. and so that is what I started to um, pray about. And so when that opportunity came and presented itself in front of me, 
You know, sometimes we pray for things and then when they present themselves, we be like, oh, I got to pray about it again. Yeah. Well, you yeah. already prayed yeah. about it. <laughs> right? You better say that. Yes. <laughs> and so I was like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna just go ahead and take the op- take the, take advantage of this opportunity. And were you that- scared, Crystal? Were you scared? Did I you have a little fear? I actually wasn't. And let me tell you, when you pray about something and it's presented to you, there's a peace that comes with it. So Ooh. I actually was not. Um, I was not afraid of, you know, taking that opportunity. Now, I did not leave corporate America until that. That was in August. I didn't leave corporate America until December of that year. Um, and I was a little, um, I wasn't even afraid. I was just, you know what? I trust you, God. And right. and I took that leap of faith, but, um, I wasn't, there was a, there, I'm, when I tell you there was a peace that came with it, there was a peace. And it was, and the, one of the things, you know, even with like you saying that is that we have to remember that when we make difficult decisions and choices, there might be a piece that comes along with it, but it doesn't mean that the journey is going to be easy. And it, and it, you know, like people, people are like, oh, well, if God said this, you know, this, if God wants me to do this, then it's supposed to just be like, boom, 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 right, boom, right, boom, boom. Right, and you right. don't have any struggle. You're not going to have any tumultuous times. Mm-hmm. And no, mommy, that ain't it. But right. you know, and it has a voice within you. Yeah, it absolutely has not been an easy journey, but I will tell you this, I wouldn't have changed it for the world because along this journey, I was able to develop on myself. And that's one of the great things about um, you know, entrepreneurship and MLM network marketing is the fact that you learn if you are personally developing, you actually learn a lot about yourself. Yes. Um and tell them what personal development is going to that. Pers- How do you personal development, you know, um, getting mindset change, mindset coaching, um, mm-hmm. creating affirmations, your confidence mm-hmm. level change, um, taking your mind into a different space of information, you know, from from the way you were thinking, reprogramming your mindset. Right. Um, and so it's a lot of um, things that have just transpired for me just having been in this business that have actually elevated me from a different mindset. And you also go from over time, if you are personally developing correctly, you go from an employee mindset to an ownership mindset. And that is what is transforming for me is being able to um, see how owners operate and and dictate their lives. Oh my gosh, it's crazy that you say that because Camille and I talked about that yesterday too, about how you know, now we're learning about taxes or, or it, it might've been, right. being, you know, I don't know, with somebody. <laughs> we we talk about it. Yeah, and that's free information. Yeah. You know, from, it's, yeah. That people pay thousands and thousands, thousands of to learn about. Yes. yes. And it is, it is so, I mean, even, even leadership style, um, lead, yeah. learning how to lead people is, is so many different things that comes with personal development that is actually, actually, um, I am grateful for, you know, a lot of things I wouldn't have known had I not entered into this field. Yeah, same here. Yeah. So, Absolutely. So what would be one thing that you would tell people who were interested in in taking that leap of faith and starting a home-based business? The biggest thing I would say is just do it. The second thing I would say is um, be patient. And the reason I say that is because a lot of times this opportunity is printed, presented as being the lottery or a quick fix. And it's not. Um, So just taking time to um, learn the business. It's like with any career or um, any job you go to. You You better, girl, you better. (laughs) You have training and you have continual continuing education and all of that. And so those are some of the things that you would want to um, you would want to you would want to make sure that you're growing in, growing on learning how to network market, growing on to how to become a better you, growing on how to lead. So those are just some of the things that um, for me would be some of the things that I would I would um, suggest. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. So Candy B, we have a few minutes left. So just what would be your what would be the one thing that you would tell someone who was interested in 
taking that leap and joining a home-based business? Um, don't procrastinate. I like if you feel something like for me, you know, I didn't have a plan B like most people do. Like most people in this industry, they have a job, right? They have a plan A. And I feel like that's the reason why so many people quit because they have their plan A and they're comfortable with their nine to five. And I'm not knocking nine to fives, but they're comfortable with their nine to five because they got a steady paycheck. That wasn't my story. God completely shut everything down where it was. Mm. What are you going to do, baby girl? Because I didn't have money to go sort of donut shop, you know, get employees and all of that stuff overhead. So that's one thing I like about this industry. You have a certain amount of, um, I mean, you, you can come in, like I said, with $100, you know, to $200. That's, that's awesome to start a business. So, you know, if you are feeling, if you have that feeling like, I've been watching Candace, I've been watching Camille, I've been watching Crystal, but I don't really know because I'm for, I'm scared. And what are people going to say? You got to get out of your feelings. Yeah. You got to go. The timing is everything. And, it, and it's not only timing, but you're holding yourself back. The more you sit back and watch, if you're not locking your spot, you 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 tr you're tricking yourself out of your spot. Don't let the enemy trick you out of your spot. Like, not only do we have amazing leadership, but just the bond that we have, um, the friendships that we've created. Mm -hmm. Because some people have people that you that you hanging out with that you know are just draining you, right? Not giving you anything. And I can say with you two and others, you know, you have elevated me. You inspire me to go harder. You know. Mm -hmm. and that a lot when you're hanging around people that want you to do better, that want to see you succeed, because everybody's not like that. Right. So I want you to get out, not not just get out of your feelings, because that's some slang, but I want you to really, really, really have an open mind and go ahead and start this business, impact lives. Mm -hmm. Like my client, like I just had someone text me and say, "Hey, let me know about the deal." You know, <clears throat> excuse me, when people say, "Hey, you know." Um, I don't feel this type of pain anymore because of these products, and I'm not making any medical, uh, no, any medical claims. But just all the stories that I get of how I help somebody that means yeah. a lot. Little old me mm -hmm. help somebody, and God created you the same way. You're no different from Camille. You're no different from me. You're no different from Crystal. Mm -hmm. You're no different from anybody. So go ahead. Let's get started. Let's let's go ahead and be that boss mom, that boss baby, or you know. Right. You know you know, we guys in the business too. So, yes, that's what I have to say. And um, I'm going to turn it back over to you, Camille. Crystal, who wants to talk? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, so we got we to gotta hop on our accountability Zoom. We need to go tag team with our other girl. Um, but listen, guys, um, I just want to thank you guys, first of all, for tuning in. And of course, thank our, my ladies for hopping on today. Um, this is a great conversation. Um, but I was so inspired today. Uh, for those of you who aren't in our business, um, we have an exciting Thursday. And on Thursdays is when a lot of people end up getting pay raises and, or should I say pay increases. Mm -hmm. um, they mm -hmm. hit different promotions. Um, just they're, they're seeing their team grow. There's a lot of team camaraderie going on. A lot of people just celebrating one another. And so on today we came together and, and I was listening to two other business partners and one was sharing that when you know, she first got started in this business. She she used credit cards and post-it notes and said, "This on this credit card, this is how much money I have. And on this credit card, this is how much money I have. And, and she was on food stamps at the time, but she took that leap of faith. Mm -hmm. And we don't make any income claims because it's definitely dependent upon your skills, your efforts, your motivation, and your mm -hmm. desire. But to go from being on food stamps five years ago so now this week making fifty-one thousand wow. dollars in one month wow. is incredible. You know, mm -hmm. and so if you if you really believe that there is more for you, there is an opportunity, guys, for you to be able to achieve that. We're inviting you to really take mm -hmm. a look at what it is that we do so that you can have more and be more mm -hmm. in your life. There was another uh person who spoke, and this gentleman was 
from the islands. Okay, but he okay. said what he's been able to accomplish in just one week in this past week is what he would typically make in four months. His four months wow. salary is what he made in one week. That's mm. powerful. And he said, when you match your words and your belief system together, that whatever it is that you want to achieve becomes unstoppable. You can't stop it. Yeah. So I just want to encourage you guys to write down what it is that you want. Begin to speak about what it is that you want. Because when you do that, you attach your words to your belief. You will become unstoppable in your life. Guys, thanks so much for joining. Thanks, Candy B. Thanks. Thank you. you are welcome. Thank you guys for Thank having me. I appreciate it so much. Dominique, hello. I see someone say hello. All right. Thank oh, you all for watching. Bye-bye.